Greetings, Grapple fans. It's Mike Quackenbush with a glimpse into Secret Season 17 for you on this free match Monday. Our Secret Season is comprised of nine never-before-seen events, including whatever happened, happened. It was on this card that we saw Cornelius Crummels and Sonny Defarge tangle with Solo Darling and Travis Huckabee for the very first time. Watch what went down right now, then jump over to Chikaratopia.com and explore the other 52 exclusive matches that make up Secret Season 17. Solo Darling and Travis Huckabee, one of the newly minted tag teams here at Chikara. Our former referee turned wrestler is ready to prove his mettle. And these two have a real uphill battle if they want to derail the winning ways of Crummels and Defarge today at whatever happened, happened. Solo Darling and Travis Huckabee are going to have to have an answer for all of the double team moves employed by Crummels and Defarge. And they're going to have to have at least a few of their own. These two are learning how to get on each other's page. So they were capable of not all that long ago in tag action against the proletary Boar of Moldova and Mr. Azerbaijan. The Crummels and Defarge represent a challenge of an entirely different caliber. Travis Huckabee and Cornelius Crummels tie up, and you can bet Travis is not going to linger long in that position. He's gone behind into the cross chest, taking him all the way over his back and our waist lock takedown as Crummels scrambles for the bottom rope to get away from Travis Huckabee, who's all over him at this point. You know, we're open seven days a week here at the Wrestle Factory in the northeast corner of Philadelphia. And more days than not, Travis Huckabee is the first guy here when the doors are unlocked and the last guy here when we're turning out the lights. And you'll see that reflected in just how smooth of a technical wrestler he is in the ring. He's got that wrist lock on Cornelius Crummels. And you can see the way that Crummels cuts inside the hold here. A supportive champ from the Jam Packed Wrestle Factory today for Travis Huckabee, who's going to tumble, tumble, tumble his way right out of that wrist lock. Hey, you better watch out. You can't turn your back on somebody like Sun Defarge because as capable as Crummels and Defarge are as tag team wrestlers, they do also like to bend the rules when they can get away with it. They can distract the referee for just a moment. You better believe that they will. And it's not above these guys to blindside you if you're not paying attention. Cornelius Crummels and Travis Huckabee once again they tie up from the cross chest. It's Travis in control with the waist lock. Crummels just being lifted right off of his vertical base. These two fairly similar in height and weight. More in-ring experience of course as a wrestler to Mr. Crummels. Travis Huckabee cuts inside the thigh. That's how he's able to counter that waist lock into one of his own. He's got a right half Nelson. Before Crummels can manage to defend against it, the full Nelson is secured. Full Nelson is a wildly painful hold. You press down on the very top of the neck. That's how you put the pressure on a move like this. He's able to break the hold as Crummels. He's going to come outside, work his way behind until he's got a hammer lock. He's not going to be able to maintain that for very long. I think Travis using the granny roll. See a little bit of that amateur wrestling background coming out. He passes a wrist lock to himself behind his own back, comes inside the bicep for a very simple takedown. Uh, I remember learning that takedown many moons ago from Johnny Kidd. So you saw Travis execute that to perfection, and I think Crummels knows he's in a world of trouble. He's not going to waste time. He's going to reach out for the bottom strand and cause the break of the hold. Maybe Mr. Defarge has seen enough. Crummels and Defarge make an exchange on their side. Will we see a tag in the opposing corner? Travis Huckabee is content to stay in the ring right now. There you can see he's got a move known as the handcuffs. This might be well suited to the force. I should have a word with them after the event's over. Oh boy. Yeah. Nothing cozy about that. 
Solo Darling has tagged him. <laughs> Troy Nelson's even observed this. Apparently he did. A little bit of a size mismatch dead ahead here, but Solo Darling doesn't take a back step from anyone. Solo Darling locking up with a much taller Senator Farge. He's given up about a foot in height to this man. Farge, uh, really known for his European uppercut. He can just about take your head off your shoulders. He throws it with such force, does DeFarge. Right behind the knee, Solo Darling took him out and covered him up. He's got a near fall over a snoozing Sonny DeFarge. You can't underestimate Solo Darling based on her size. She is an accomplished wrestler. Has that side headlock on, picked up off of her vertical base, just being bullied toward the ropes. And Sonny DeFarge grabbing onto the ropes. Solo doesn't want to let go of the headlock. Well, she doesn't really have a choice. I'm sure if anybody could explain the rules to you, it's probably your tag team partner. He used to be a referee. Once again, looks like Darling and Defarge about to lock up. It does sound a little bit like an 80s one-hit wonder. Darling and Defarge. Ugh. Right into the eyes. And now it's Defarge who has the side headlock after a disgusting tactic. Dropping to a knee. I don't know that it's ever a smart idea to give up your height in a side headlock. That's part of how you have the leverage advantage in a hold like this. Being admonished by all the fans on hand who are calling out Cheater at Sunny Defarge. Solo Darling is able to basically walk her way right out of that. Yeah. Well, Sunny Defarge is completely unfazed by this. It's like hair product to this man is what that is. It's fun. Yeah, you heard Crumble say, what, what does she think that would do? Well, I can tell you what a kick to the throw will do. That will jam your Adam's apple back into your esophagus and you're going to have a really hard time catching your breath. Solo's back in the corner to Farge. Oh, doing the right thing here. Headed up the corner. Oh, what is she thinking there? Fired in a back kick. Solo Darling takes flight, came in with a bulldog. Jafar just trying to weasel away. <laughs> just, yeah, even Mr. Cullen's like a little surprised. That bulldog was a great move on the part of Solo Darling. Ugh. These guys know what works. They know just how to get you off your game, how to disorient you. Backed up into the corner here, Cornelius crumbles. I don't know if he made the tag or not. No, Defarge distracting Darling, and that drop kick hit her right in the back. She tumbles backwards over Crumbles, who's setting up a catapult. Sending her up. Oh, she got tangled up in the face. Hit the cables. Ugh. Yeah, uh, I once had my nose broken by exactly that. I was catapulted and hit my face, hit the cables, hit me right in the bridge of my nose. Uh, I felt like it was gushing blood for about two hours thereafter. Solo Darling's in a world of hurt as she's dragged back into the wrong corner. She is in the Crumbles and Defarge corner. And these two being tag team experts, you better believe they're going to cut the ring in half. They want to keep Solo away from Travis. This move of theirs where they are back to back. Look how quickly they keep stringing the strikes together. Here comes Crumbles. And then the punctuation mark at the end of this sentence will come from Defarge. That move is known as Oliver Twist. And will it be enough to put Solo away? No, Solo Darling fights on. She is reaching out for the corner. She wants to tag Travis Huckabee. Of course, the other option for Solo is to vacate the ring. Well, she did. She did make the tag. I didn't think she was going to make it there, but she did. And Troy Nelson saw it. Travis goes right underneath, unwinds Solo to a great-looking back elbow. And the old Batman and Robin drop kick. She gets loaded up and takes Crumbles over the swinging head scissor. Huckabee and Darling starting to get it together. Look at Travis go. They came to the ring with a smart in-ring strategy, and it's starting to work. Crossbody finds the mark. They almost had him. A win here for Huckabee and Darling would send Crumbles into Forge back to zero points. Hooking him up for a double under. Travis got a beautiful bridging butterfly. There it is. Crumbles came out and Defarge tumbled in with a low European uppercut. Watching each other's backs, they rock Travis. Oh, they're going for their coup de grace. They're setting up great expectations already. If they're able to land this one, and they do, I'm afraid it may be all over for Travis Huckabee and Solo Darling. <laughs>